Hey everyone, I'm Ahmed Gad. I'm a research assistant at University of Ottawa and working with Paperspace on different machine learning projects. If you don't know already, Paperspace is a cloud computing platform for GPU accelerated applications like machine learning. Today, I'll be showing you how to do object detection using the mask RCNN model in Keras. In this project, we will use Paperspace Gradient for creating an instance and running a Jupyter notebook with all the code required to do object detection using the mask RCNN model. Let's start by visiting gradient.paperspace.com and creating a free account if you don't already have an account. I have my own account, so I'll sign in directly. This is my private workspace, and I have a single notebook that's running on an instance with a free GPU. Let's create a new Jupyter notebook by clicking the Create button, and the name for this notebook can be called Mask RC Name. And because this project uses TensorFlow, so the runtime would be TensorFlow. The default version installed is 2.4.1. We will have to change it later to 2.2.0. And for the machine, uh, there are different free and bid options. And the default machine has a free CPU and 2 gigabytes of RAM, which is not enough to run the mask or scene in model. We have to choose a different plan. Let's use this plan that has a free GPU and 30 gigabytes of RAM. And finally, scroll down to the start notebook button in order to run the instance. This will take some time until it's running. And once an instance is up and running, we can click this button to go to Jupyter where we can manage the Jupyter notebooks. We can either create a new notebook or upload an existing one. And for this project, I already created a Jupyter notebook. So I'll just upload it and I click upload. And once the Jupyter notebook is uploaded, we can open it. Here is a Jupyter notebook for doing object detection using the mask or in model with Keras. And the first step is to update the ABT to make sure everything is up to date. And the second step is to clone a GitHub project that has all the code required for creating the architecture of the mask or in model, loading the pre-trained weights, making predictions, and even training the mask or in model over a new dataset. And after this project is cloned, let's view its content. And one of the most important folders in this project is called MRC name, which is a Python module with all the code required for handling the mask RC name model. The next step is to bring the working directory, which is just notebooks, and it changes the directory to the directory of the GitHub project. After doing all of that, we need to install some libraries needed by the mask RC name model. And two of these libraries include TensorFlow 2.2.0 and Keras 2.3.1. Once all of these libraries are installed, we can print their versions to make sure they are installed successfully. And we can find that TensorFlow 2.2.0 is installed in addition to Keras 2.3.1. After that, we can install the clone GitHub project by using the command python 3 setupy install. And this project will be installed simply. And to make sure that the project is installed successfully, we also imported it. And there is no problem when importing the MRC name module. Next is to change directory back to the main directory, which is just notebooks, and follow some simple steps to make a prediction using the mask RC name model. And the first step in making a prediction is to import all the required libraries, included MRC name, Keras, Sky image for reading the input image to the model, you are lib for downloading the pre-trained weights in addition to numpy and matplotlib library. The next step is to prepare a list of the class names by which the model is trained. The model is trained using the Coco dataset, which contains 80 classes in addition to the background for a total of 81 classes. And next is to extend the class that's called config to create a new class called simple config with some configurations about the model. And one of these configurations is the number of classes. The number of classes the model use is 81, and this is why the length of this list is assigned to the number of classes attribute of this class. And next is to create the model architecture, 
as an instance of the mask RC name class. And the constructor of this class accepts three parameters. The first one is mode, which can be either inference or training. Inference will make a prediction and training will train the model over a new dataset. And the second one is called config, which accepts an instance of the simple config class we created previously. And the third one is the model directory, which is used for training the model. And when making an inference, we can set this parameter to none. The instance of the mask RC main model is not the Keras model itself. It contains an attribute that's called Keras underscore model, which is the actual Keras model. And this is why we can call the summary method for this model to print its layers. And the number of layers in this model is 394. And once the model architecture is created, we are ready to load the model weights. But before doing that, we have to download the weights from this URL and save the weights in a file that's called mask underscore or cnn underscore coco.h5. And this means that this is the weights of the mask or cnn model trained on the coco dataset. And this is why the next step is to read an input image that is saved in a variable that's called image. By creating the model architecture, loading its weights, and reading an input image, we are ready for making predictions over that image. This is why the model detect method is called, which returns the detected object in the detections variable. And this variable contains a dictionary for each image. Because we have only a single image, so we can return its detections and notations in the variable image1 underscore detections. And the type of this variable is dictionary, which contains four keys, ROIs, class IDs, scores, and masks. And for the first key in this dictionary, it contains the bounding boxes of each detected object. And the second one, class IDs, contains the ID of each class detected by the model. And these class IDs can be translated easily to class names. For example, class ID 17 refers to dog, and class ID 1 refers to person. And there are a score for each detected object. For example, the first object is detected as a class ID 17, which is a class name dog with a prediction score of 0.997. And finally, we can call the display instances function from the visualize uh, module in order to uh, visualize the detected objects. For example, it accepts the image to be displayed as a bounding boxes, the masks, which is a binary mask for each detected object, and the class IDs, the class names, the scores, uh, and also some uh, flags like uh, show bounding boxes and if this flag is set to true then the bounding box for each object will be displayed and the mask can be also displayed like in this example and the mask polygon which draws a polygon around each binary mask and finally the caption for example this object is a dog with a prediction score of 0 0.996 but there is a problem in the previous case because there are some objects detected with low prediction score. For example, this object is detected as a pinch with a prediction score of 0 0.744. We can uh, use the mean score parameter in the uh, display instances function in order to reject all the classes or all the objects uh, with the scores below than the minimum score specified. When the minimum score is 0 0.9, then all of these objects with prediction score less than 0 0.9 are excluded. That's it for this tutorial. Just to recap, we saw how to use the mask RC in model for detecting objects in images. We started by creating an instance in paper space gradient and then running a Jupyter notebook with all the code required for doing detection using the mask RC in If you have any questions, feel free to reach out in the comments or on Twitter at Hello Paper Space. Gradient offers a free GPU plan so you can run this project at no cost. I highly recommend checking that out. Thanks for watching.